what I believe this to be is a cotton mouth. Yes, this is a cotton mouth. They're extremely poisonous, about as much as a copperhead. I'm really chancing it here because I could get bit and venomated and have to go to the hospital. Cottonmouths are always found around water. That's where they live. And they're pretty, he's pretty docile right now. Doesn't seem to be interested in fighting, let's hope. Related to the copperhead. He was kind of a tough little bugger to catch. Oop, come on, don't you go toward my hand. He took off towards the sound. And I had to rustle through the bushes to get him. Ah, dead gummit. Ow! Big fly. If you ever see a cottonmouth in the wild, you really don't want to pick one up like this. I know I may seem crazy, but I enjoy this. Snakes are part of my favorite pastime is finding them and catching them and trying to teach people more about them. But you see, yeah, he's a poisonous snake, but look, do you see him trying to attack me and kill me? No. He's just trying to climb up his tail to see what the heck's got him in a, a death grip. Really, I'm not pinching him too hard. If I pinched him real hard, it would hurt, and he would probably even more so want to get up and bite me. He's going to climb up the stick now. He's heading towards my hand, which could be dangerous. So, little snake, we don't want you to do that. There we go. There he is. So, if you're ever out in the woods and you see one of these guys, brown snake, arrow shaped head, pits in front of the eyes, yellowish uh, black, blotchy belly, it's cotton mouth. Most often you're going to see them down in areas like this, down around sounds, creeks, rivers. Their primary food items would be fish, rodents, anything that would hang out around the water's edge. What he was doing up here on land, possibly hunting for food or a mate, who knows. Well, I'm going to let this little dude go so he can get back to whatever he was doing. Climbing up on this mound of debris. And off he goes. He's using his coloration to try to fool me. You can see he blends in real well. Nice brown snake against a nice brown background. You can see his pits right under his eyes. Kind of hard to see, but they're there. Right between the eyes and the nostrils. So if you were walking down the Nags Head Woods Trail, would you see him? He's pretty hidden there, isn't he? Right in the middle of the picture. Well, there he goes. Off into a nice dark hiding place. Well, we'll leave this little dude alone and walk on down to the sound. Hey, little guy. Look, he's doing his bluff right now. When they get threatened, they'll puff up. Sometimes they'll flip over and twitch around, and they'll even bleed from their gums. He might strike.
that look kind of like a cobra. Hear the hissing? He's just saying, don't mess with me, I'm a big mean snake. And if this keeps up, he'll flip over. He'll flip over and he'll start twitching. Here, Cody, film. Isn't he pretty? Look at him. They eat, they eat toads and frogs and lizards and they're harmless. They just act really big and mean, kind of like a chihuahua. I'll get him. Come on, Cody, let's take him back where he goes. See, he hasn't even tried to bite me. This is a real healthy one, too. He's big, he's fat. Look at that hiss. You want to take another picture of him? Here. First snake you've ever held? Yes. Really? Well, I've held a snake before, but I, the other people were holding it. Like, you got to go see how heavy it was and mm -hmm. pick it up at the, at the back of it. <laughs> really? Well, this is a wild eastern hognose snake. So this is your first wild snake, isn't it? Yep. Now he's puffing up just because he's ill. He's mad. Hey there, little dude. Yeah, hey, he's a dude. Mm-hmm. This is what you doing. Hello, dude. This is an eastern hognose snake. I'm here at Jockey's Ridge Park where I found him. Jockey's Ridge State Park in North Carolina. And he was just crawling right up the side of the main sand dune right here at Jockey's Ridge, the ridge. And a bunch of uh, tourists saw him and started freaking out, going nuts. And uh, I went down and uh, picked him up and I think that made him go a little bit more nuts. Scared him to death. A lot of them started squealing and screaming. One of them actually had to leave because she was crying. What is this strange behavior that happens to people when a snake is around? It just blows my mind. Look how harmless he is. He just, he doesn't, he hasn't tried to bite. He's not slimy like a lot of people say. He's dry, cool to the touch. Listen to him hiss. Look how he flattens out his neck when he gets threatened. Hisses. See there, he's flicking that tongue out, and smelling the air. He's had an injury at some point in his life, right here on his neck, because there's a scar. I don't know if our cameraman can see that really good or not. You can zoom in. Can you see that? Something happened to him at some point. Maybe he attacked a an animal that was a little too big for him, or maybe a person up here thought they were going to try to kill him. Let's hope not. But whatever happened to him, he healed real nice. He's doing real good. Well, I'm going to let him go now because he, there's, he deserves to be free and to hunt toads in peace. Right up here, he's going to crawl back into the brush. <laughs> 